This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad and welcome to Finding Sasquatch. And in this video, I've got something super sweet to show you. One of my patrons is actually a sculptor and he sculpts a couple of cool little things. I'm going to leave a link for his Instagram below and whatever channel. I don't know if it's a CG trader or one of the two, but I'll leave that in the description below. Make sure to check him out. And in order to show my support to people that support me, I supported him back and I've made this cute animal restriction device from Pokemon. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I painted this ball. It's a super simple, easy one, but maybe there's something you might not have picked up on in previous videos before. Also, before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like, leave some words in the little square box below where YouTube allows you to leave some words. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button because for every time you click that, I will have one more new subscriber. So for this model, what I did was I started off with a white base coat this time. One of the main reasons I used this is because I want the colors to be bright and vibrant and really the only thing that needs to be black is the little stripe down the center. I could have just painted this one solid color of white and one solid color of red. However, I feel like I can get a lot more depth out of this ball and make it look just a little bit cooler if we add a bit of depth and shadow into the piece just like a normal statue would be painted. I started out with a grey at the bottom of the ball. This is going to be essentially the shadow that our eyes would see. In order to tie this together and make the white a little bit shinier and crisper, I'm going to paint it with this metallic medium, which essentially is just metallic paint but with no colour but it's technically white, so I'm not really sure why it's just a medium. It's, it's like pearl. Let's call it pearl. Once that had all dried, I gave that a solid clear coat over the top just to protect it. I then used masking tape and simply just covered all the parts that I don't want the next color to get on. Essentially, I went over and made sure there was a lot of overlap between all the masking tape because the last thing you need is to see a little piece of just snuck underneath the masking tape. You will have the tears. Do not have the tears. Just make sure your masking is solid. Press all the edges down as well, don't forget that. I then used a metallic red from Ammo by Meg and I literally just sprayed a solid base coat over the top of the entire ball. I made sure that was dry and then I did a second layer over the top. I want to make sure this red is as vibrant as it can get. Once that had fully dried, I then took a brighter red. This is not metallic, but I didn't clean out my airbrush and I just poured this straight into the tiny bit of metallic red that was left, leaving a few little flakes in the red and I sprayed that in the highlight spot. In order to create a little bit of depth to it, I used Carabao Crimson, which is a Citadel wash and I sprayed that from the bottom part or the shadowed areas. This was a time I was able to unmask the project and have a look at how the colors look with each other. I need to make sure that they interact well and it seems like they do exactly what I need them to do. I then took black, watered this down to a good flowable consistency and I took my time and made sure to pay attention to the edges of this line going down the center. If I make sure that I'm paying attention to the left side completely and not worrying so much about the right side of the line, I can do the full left side, come back and do the full right side and it will look super crisp and tidy because I haven't really worried about trying to catch both sides at the same time. Using long fluid movements with this is probably the key. Make sure you get the flow of where the paint's going and just kind of go with it. I then used white and I trimmed the edge or essentially edge highlighted the whole white segment of the ball. This is just to create a little bit of a highlight look on the lip of the ball. And this really brings up the realism or the aspect of this thing being completely 3D. I did the same thing with the red. In hindsight, I could have lightened the red a little bit more, perhaps used a bit more of an orange, but it still does a job and it still looks great. I then painted the inside of the ball where the button goes on and I made sure that that was black not all the way around because it doesn't go all the way around like you want the white and the red to kind of cover the lip just slightly and once that had all dried I gave it a good solid clear coat with this Tamiya Clear it's x22 don't ask me what that means but it is a clear coat and it's kind of shiny I really wish this would have been a little bit more glossier and I did kind of end up having a little bit of lemon peel but I just put that down to my environmental settings. I don't think there's much I can do about that right now with the situation, but in future I need to work on how I'm gonna clear coat things, specifically gloss and high gloss. 
I then painted the rim around the button black and I grabbed out my trusty super glue and I stuck a tiny bit of glue in the center of the button area there's not going to be any force on this you can't really get your fingers there so I just stuck that in and I called it done Hopefully you figured out something or you've seen something in this video that may help you with your future paints. Of course, I would like to say thank you, a massive thank you to my patrons who support the channel and help keep these lights blinding my eyeballs. Make sure to click like, leave a word in the description, link in the box below. Thank you for coming and if you didn't like anything you saw, then there's nothing I can do for you bruh. I don't know why you're still watching these videos, please can you just if you are still watching then click subscribe bro it's easy you just use your thumb or even your forefinger depending on which device you're using <laughs>